That's why I always pray, God, send me man. But in the day when help was to come, it come as a disguised person. Jesus just walked to that place and he turned. He didn't see his normal friends that were there. He didn't see the one that used to come and keep him company. For many years, they came and told him, sorry, you, sorry, you'll be fine one day. One day, one day, you'll be fine. But when Jesus Christ came, he said, young man, stand up and walk. He said, but I have no man. Look at this situation. This pool has five doorways. It's not as if the pool has, this hall has about three doors. You can enter into, from any door. Five doorways. Yet again, the guy cannot access one. That means there are different ways that God can bless you. But when the devil wants to mean you, he close down all of those doors. Even if one tries to open it, close again. One of the prayers we will pray today, God is not handicapped. God can think more than you. There is no door with God. Any place can be a way. Anywhere God face is a way. If God wants to lift a man, anything can become it. That's why the day I had the song. My Jin to see. 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 There is no miracle that is not upon the mercy of God. Nobody is qualified for anyone. You can never receive a miracle from God because you are qualified. God must show mercy. If God did not show you mercy, you can't receive nothing from him. No one is qualified for nothing. Because there are people that have given more than you. There are those that have fasted more than you. There are those that are more holy than you. Why are they not receiving it? It's because God showed mercy to another and another look upon him as though it doesn't exist. This guy is not the only one with this testimony. There are many people in that place that have no man too. I know. But God has shown mercy. Appear to this one, say, rise up and walk. Do you be like the guy did not enter inside the water? Because the testimony of deliverance, miracle was to enter that pool. But when the God that showed mercy come, he break all those stupid protocol and he say walk I mean I should not enter his I say walk I say but today is the Sabbath day or God walk when God comes he break every protocol it doesn't matter how much they have set it very well that's why sometimes we put certain things in place and God come and break all of them live by the mercy of God your life will become a miracle every day I know you are not qualified, I agree. I know according to main curriculum, none of us is qualified, but there is a God that shows mercy. That is the only last strand of the arm of God we can hold on to. At least you need to pray to come into power. You need to study to come into wisdom. But the mercy of God, you come as weak as you are. Come as disqualified as you are. But when you look upon you and you are that disfigured, say, oh, That very moment his life was changed. A miracle was a reality. In the book of John 3, from 1, the Bible said there was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher came from God, for no man can do these miracles. That thou doest accept God be with thee. And Jesus answered, I said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again? When is already old, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Very, very, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, 
he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. What I need you to understand here is that as much as we emphasize miracle, as much as we emphasize all the allotment that comes with healing, we neglect something very important. Which is the personality that brings it? At the occurrence of any miracle healing is Jesus revealed. The miracle that that guy had was not that he was healed, it was that he encountered Jesus. Because at his encounter of Jesus, his healing was guaranteed. Many people got their healing at that pool of Bethesda, but they never met Jesus. They never saw Jesus. I guarantee you they will still go to hell if they die, paraventure. But the testimony of that guy was that he didn't only receive his healing, but he met Jesus. And that is the reason why when Nicodemus approached Jesus, he let him understand that far beyond the miracle you do, we know that you are a man sent from God. Because many people have been doing all of these things, but yet again, they have not pointed unto us to a man. There is no time that Jesus Christ do anything that doesn't point to the Father. And that is the reason why, paraventure, the reason why that infirmity is still there is because there is no way God is going to see glory that will return back to him. As a result of that, he allowed it until the day his glory can be revealed through that situation. Then it will go. Who has seen that this child is born blind? He said, nobody has seen. But this thing happened for the sake that the glory of God can be revealed. Paraventure, that situation, that challenge may be the reason why Jesus Christ is trying to be revealed through the situation. Are you seeing your problems as a gateway for the unveiling of the personality named Christ? Or are you seeing it as a hindrance to you beholding the Lord? Anytime you begin to see your challenge and your circumstances as part of the gateway to reveal the Christ, Christ will step in the midst of it and say, well, here am I. Because anytime God passes us through anything, it's to the intent that we can take our eyes away from men and focus on him so that in our beholding of him, we are healed, we are delivered, yet again our anchor become him. So Nicodemus, the first miracle he received was that he met Jesus. And afterward, he told him, you must be born again. You must come to a point where you neglect everything you think you know and be born again. The first step to receiving miracle that is sustainable is not just believing, it's to be born again. I will never, never, never Come to a point that will emphasize miracle beyond the need for a man to be born again. 